Welcome back, everybody, to Caravan of Garbage, where this week we're taking a journey down a wonderful chocolate factory. Come with us, and you'll see world of pure imagination and content. Leave a like if you want, and by that I mean you have to do it. It's not an option. Otherwise you'll fall into a vat. Or a squirrel will eat you or whatever. Or a weird man in a hat will bully you. James, do you think people like this musical episode we're doing? <laughs> I think so. Do you think so. they're loving it already? And good thing we got it all auto shoot. So yeah, it's, right. it's going to sound really good. I would have put in the extra money, Mason. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Leave a like if you want. Or a squirrel will eat you or whatever. Now, uh, with the release of Wonka prequel, mm. we're taking a look at the second run at a cinematic adaptation. Should we have done the first one? I'm I mean, going to talk about it among us. Okay, this. yeah, yeah. Look, we've all seen it. Even I've seen it. Go wow, it. even you've what? seen a really popular movie? James, it's common knowledge in, my, in this video series that I haven't seen a lot of kids' movies. <laughs> okay. Because I was born at this age. <laughs> well, as a kid, you were watching like Robocop and I stuff, I guess I was. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I didn't see a lot of Disney movies, but I definitely did see the original. Yeah. Charlie and William Wonka and the Chocolate yes. Factory. Uh, named as such because they wanted to brand it to sell chocolate bars. We'll talk about oh. it a bit later. It's a wonderful movie. Beautiful performance by everybody. Gene sp- Wilder, oh, tremendous. God, yep. how does he do it? How, yeah, did he, yeah. how did he do it? Acting, I he think. He did all his acting. Not all at once, because mm. I don't know what that would look like. But he mm. did the right amount of measured acting and in he did, he did that forward role at yeah, the yeah. start. And then, as I understand it, he just imagined doing the forward role for the rest of the movie. Oh, wow. While filming it. And that just gets that you, momentum. Gets you in the right mindset, yeah. I can say that, yeah. Anyways, boy, is this a Tim Burton, Willy Wonka movie. Boy, it sure is. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, Mason. Yes. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Look, I think it's almost a great movie. What are you saying? Mm, I don't know. It could have been great, but unfortunately, one of the central pillars of the movie is really bad and awful and unpleasant. Oh, okay. Are you talking about... Johnny Depp. Yeah, it's terrible not, not choice. Just, not just John. No, oh, it's Johnny Depp, but I like Johnny Depp in a movie. <laughs> what he's doing in it. Yeah, we, I completely talk, agree. Do you want to talk about it now? We yeah, talk let's, about it later. let's do it now. Let's do it he's, now. He's doing what feels like a persona that Jim Carrey attempted and then discarded. Like, he right. was trying to figure out what his persona would be for the mask. And he was like, what if I was just off-putting and unpleasant? Yep. What's happened in my weird freak mind, you know? <laughs> and then the director of that movie was like, Jim, nobody's going to lie that. Mm. Get rid of it. But Tim Burton was listening at the door with a little, maybe like a, some sort of listening horn at the door. <laughs> you would have and a he was like, horn. oh, that sounds good. I'm going to save that for later. Johnny, <laughs> you want to be an unpleasant guy? Yeah. And also in the movie? <laughs> Here's what I think it is. Okay. Two years earlier, yes. he reinvented Captain Jack Sparrow. He took what was on the page and turned in this brilliant performance and all these little affectations and mm-hmm. and voice and his little walk and the look of it, like he crafted all of that. Mm-hmm. And Disney were like, we don't know about this. I don't think this is going to work. He's supposed to be cool and swashbuckling. And it's like the best thing in the movie. Yeah. Uh-huh. And this time around, they just went, let's just see what he does. Yeah. And right, then we uh-huh. got this. Mm. And yeah. it's quite, it's bad. And I don't like yeah. the character at mm. all. Awful. Yeah. Why, why does he want a kid to work there if he doesn't like kids? I don't know. Anyway, but what I was going to say is, apart from that, yeah. it is, I think, like an interesting kind of carbon copy modernization of the original version. You mean the book, right, specifically? No. Oh, okay. I can't read. Because it does adhere closer to the book. Oh, interesting. Okay, right. Yeah. But I was thinking more in the, in the sense of, like, the production values feel modern. Not necessarily always in a good way. Like, there's a very 2005 CGI opening title sequence. Imagine how good that would look yeah. if they took that Tim Burton aesthetic uh-huh. and it wasn't just a weird CGI chocolate factory. Even if they did, like, a like a Nightmare Before Christmas stop motion kind of mm-hmm. opening sure, thing. Sure, sure, yeah. But it's nothing. It yeah. just feels, like, smooth and weird, like Johnny Depp's face in this. Did you think that even... Do you think that maybe put you off... Put you offside for the rest of the movie? I think the movie's good mm. until they get to him. Yeah. I think the world that they build and introducing all these weird characters and crooked houses and all this shit, when it's not, like, obvious green screen and but CGI, again, yes. But again, it is just a carbon copy. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the, the grandpa gets out of bed and he goes, Yippee! Yippee! I'm doing a little... Da- we saw, You know. Yeah. He does say yippee and he does so, so, the, so I guess the So I guess what I'm saying is... It's a pointless remake, but it would have been a fine pointless remake without the weird version of Willy Wonka. You know what else doesn't work in this? Yes, sir. The music. Mm. Because they took a lot of the lyrics and things from the books, right? I see. And then Danny Elfman crafted music around that. But Mm. because when you're reading the songs, 
you don't really have a tune in your head. It just kind of reads like poetry. It rhymes. Uh-huh, sure, sure, sure. Mine's always to um, a tub thumping by Chumble. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we'll fix it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, fix it we'll fix it on it. We'll fix it on yeah, it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Though, like you can't mm. craft it into anything that's because musically the first one mm. and I know people say well, except for the cheer up Charlie song but you know leave that woman alone she's going uh-huh. through a lot yeah leave her alone okay you know and each song is very specific and it's fun and whatever mm, sure. you know, it's got that oompa loompa kind of like a rhythm to it whereas this is just like there's a weird rock song and there's a weird I don't remember the other songs right. I just remember <laughs> the rock song also going into this mm. I know I had seen this prior but if you'd asked me is this a reboot or a sequel or a prequel to the original. Well, or if it was a sequel, it would be the Great Glass Elevator, yeah, I, Mason. Yeah, I know, but that's the thing. But I nothing stuck. Yeah. But if you'd ask me what it was, I'd be like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it, it's a remake. But um, the only thing that I do remember from it prior to this rewatch is that all the Oompa Loompas are played by the same guy, which I'm sure at the time was like, what a fun innovation kind of thing. But in in the present day, I'm like, oh, because they just wanted to pay the one guy. Well. I do have some information oh. about that later, which you might like. Oh. You know what else I think is wrong with this? Go on. Tonally, and this includes the Willy Wonka performance and things that he says, it's too overtly sinister, right? Okay, Whereas sure. Whereas the original, it looks beautiful and what a wonderful world. Mm. But if you, like, scratch the surface, there's just this undercurrent. It's just mean and weird. Like... Charlie and Grandpa Joe nearly get minced by a fan. You see a chicken get beheaded uh-huh. at one point. Gene Wilder screams at a little boy at the That's end. That's true, yeah. It's so weird and dark in a way that this is like, well, I'm weird and dark. Mm. And it's like, we know, yeah. fucking calm down. Willy Wonka does that forward roll, then he gets up and he does that thing like you, like when you're threatening somebody at a pub, you're like, <laughs> shove your face forward at him. Like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what else I think? What's that? I've said this before, and I think it's true of most versions of the character. I think Willy Wonka is an escaped Nazi scientist. Absolutely. Think about the era he was born in. Mm -hmm, Think about what he can do. Think about the use of slavery. Think about his disregard for human life. Come on. Mm, He was a Nazi, right? Think about his Hugo Boss (laughs) outfits. You're absolutely right. He whips cows. Like, Mm. literally whips cows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That feels like a Nazi experiment thing, right? Sure. I don't know, man. Mm. Look, we, I, I'm sure you've got a bunch of notes. I've got them here. I've got a few here. You've got my notes there. I've got your notes here. Don't read my notes. Um, let's see. The, the children are suitably freakish. I think the cast is good. Yes. I think Freddie <laughs> that's, Highmore... That's a nice way of putting yeah. it. Yeah. I think Freddie Highmore is a delight as Charlie Bucket, even though he's a crooked-ass house bitch. Oh, yes. Now, of course, he's an autistic surgeon or whatever. The screaming surgeon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're all very good. Mm. I think the movie is a bit too mean to them. I mean, the book's very mean to well, them. Well, the book's very mean to them, but I like... We're talking about 2005, like it's ancient history, but it's really not. It's a long and it's time like, ago. Look at this fat little kid. <laughs> he's inherently awful because he's fat. <laughs> yeah. This little girl keeps chewing gum. That's awful. She's and there's bad. that fat kid, I don't know if you fat, remember. Fat from kid's earlier. here again. What a little monster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, and also, Mike yeah. TV says the R word. Does he? Yes. I miss that. He says it. <laughs> he figures out the some sort of system to determine which oh that's right uh, chocolate bars have a have a golden ticket in them mm. and he's like well a uh, slur could figure this out <laughs> and i'm like you don't want to take that out for the for the <laughs> streaming versions you don't want to take it out? Oh, I didn't know you were pro censorship, Mason. <laughs> I didn't know that until now. Yes. Anyway, it's, it's weird. Yeah. Just say it's, something else. Yeah. Say it, 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 even a s- silly goose could have figured this out. Yeah. Honk. I like that he's a weird Call of Duty guy. I guess. Like slightly pre when Call of Duty exploded. You yeah, know? sure, sure, sure. Um, I always found it really upsetting that Charlie's parents and his mother specifically in the first movie because his dad is dead in the movie. I don't know why. Mm. Or maybe he, he got crushed in a toothpaste accident. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It just squeezed him flat. Yeah. Like, oh, side note, it's yeah. Smilex toothpaste. Is it? Like the... Uh, the the That's fun. The, the Joker's poison in the Batman movie. Got another Batman reference later for oh, you, Oh, I'm excited tell for you that. What, yeah. But I always thought it was really unfair that Grandpa Joe is suddenly like, oh, you want a ticket to a chocolate factory? Whoop, look at me. whoop de doo And then I realised, as I got older, oh, he had depression. He's got depression. Of course, yes. And now he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I sure, can do sure, this. sure. Oh, something to do <laughs> other than stare into the void. <laughs> I'll yeah. do that, I'll yeah. I'll do that, sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, this is interesting. In early 2003, Gregory Peck was offered the role of Grandpa Joe. Gregory Peck? That's right. Father of father of Ethan Peck's father. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was going to say father of Ethan Peck, but I'm sure there's at least one person. I think there is somebody in between mm, there, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he did consider it, but before he could give them an answer, he did pass away, Mason. Mm. Yeah, so that's fun. I don't think it is fun. I mean, it's fun that he was going to do it. 
Yeah, that's that's fun. That's so, fun. Sure, that's fun. <laughs> we should start a segment called That's Fun. <laughs> Do you want to hear some influences? What Johnny Depp drew upon to do this terrible thing? Yes. Okay, here we go. Johnny Depp stated that he based his appearance on the costume of the Marilyn Manson album, The Golden Age of Grotesque. Right. Yeah. Cool guy, too. Yeah, cool. <laughs> cool, yeah. Constant rotation to my house, whatever that album was called. <laughs> what a cool dude. <laughs> as well as game show hosts and children's television show hosts, such as Fred Rogers how he imagined former U.S. President George W. Bush would act whilst stoned. You wouldn't have to bloody think too hard about that one, would you, Mason? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> part Howard Hughes recluse, part 1970s glamorous rock star. Apparently it's not at all based on Michael Jackson, but I feel like that cannot be true, right? Yeah. There's a bunch of Michael Jackson in that, right? Yeah, and also... That's too many references. <laughs> you know who you could have based it on? Gene Wilder. Should, no, well, you couldn't just do that, right? No, You've you got to think of it this way. Mm -hmm. Remember when Robin Williams was the genie? Sure. And then Dan Castanella was the genie for a bit. Don't worry about that. Mm. But then Will Smith had to be the genie. Huh? He sure. couldn't have he just... have to be the he genie. He had to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you want to do something slightly different. You want to take it and make it your Hollywood own. Hollywood made him sign a contract. He can get to slap Chris Rock in a few years. <laughs> If he, they'll make him do the genie, but he gets one big slap on a guy he doesn't like many years later. Love that. I also think there's some fun jokes in this, genuinely, right? Go on. I like that... Well, this isn't really a joke, but I like that Charlie's dad lost his job at the chocolate factory. Oh, you like that? Yeah, I like it. Oh, you have more to the sentence? I mean, I do like it. <laughs> okay, I could say an additional thing yeah, if you great. want me to. Yeah, great, terrific. Because so many people were eating chocolate bars that toothpaste sales increased, that they had to modernise and mechanise the toothpaste sure. process. Sounds like an excuse to me. Oh, to, like, get rid of this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Well, you know, there's no such thing as unskilled labour, except for Charlie's dad. That's exactly right. I know what Mike TV might say about him, Mason. Oh, no, a silly goose? Yeah, silly goose. Wow. I also think there's a really good joke where you see young Willy Wonka go out to explore the world and you see him walk past a series of flags like he's travelling all around and then it just turns out he's at a flag museum. That's pretty I good. I thought that was a good joke. Well, yeah. then it's all been worth it as far as I'm concerned. Anyways, do you know what it's time for? What's it time for? It's time for Charlie and the Trivia. The trivia section of the show. I love that. Where we go, wow, James, did you bring any trivia? I hear you in the comments. And yes, I did actually. Delete your comment. <laughs> Can you do that? Yeah. I've never commented on anything on I'll YouTube. I'll delete it then. Oh, Wow. So to his surprise, Deep Roy played every Oompa Loompa, right? Oh, to his surprise. Interesting. Which is also weird that it's the same face, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Don't know. Nazi stuff. Nazi stuff yeah. a bit, I think, yeah. Repeating the same movements several hundred times. While those were put together digitally, each Oompa Loompa represents a separate performance by Roy, and in recognition, Roy's salary was increased to $1 million. All right, then. There you okay, go. Okay, okay. All right, you happy with that? Well, I've been told. <laughs> yes, you have. 40 squirrels were trained for the scene where they pounce on Veruca Salt in the nut shelling room. The animals were trained every day for 10 weeks before filming. For our American uh, viewers... Mm. We're talking about squirrels. Squirrel. 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 Now, the squirrels, mm -hmm. they're from the book. They're not in the first movie because that's oh. an impossible scene to do, really. Is is the only new content in this that's not from the original movie or the book uh, Willy Wonka's tragic backstory? Yeah, that is new. There is a bunch of little stuff right, that they throw right, in, right, uh -huh. but yeah, that's one of the newer things. Well, I hated it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Christopher Lee? Hated it. He killed a lot of Nazis. That's true. Mm. Do you hate that? Just, maybe do you hate just, that? Maybe he's just biding his time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll do one more scene. <laughs> Wonka's throne mm -hmm. is the same one used by the Joker during the Batman 1989 parade scene. There you go. I didn't double check that. I hope that's true, Mason. I hope it's not true. Oh. For engagement. That is true. Mm. But I'll delete your comment. Yeah. And Lissy Dahl originally wanted Dustin Hoffman and Christopher Lloyd to play Willy Wonka and Grandpa Joe, respectively. Dustin Hoffman was Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. See? Which is probably just Willy Wonka. I haven't seen it. Now, would you like to know what Gene Wilder thought of this movie? 
I didn't he know. thought it sucked. Did he? he? He was alive and he was I like, was going to say, I didn't even think he was alive when yeah, this Yeah, he came died out. like maybe four or five years ago. All oh, right, okay. During production, Gene Wilder, in an interview with the Daily Telegraph, accused the filmmakers of simply remaking Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. He did. 1971 for yeah, money. They, they did that, yeah. yeah. Johnny Depp defended the movie, saying it was not a remake of the earlier movie, but a new adaptation of the book, which is true. And for example, I didn't do the forward roll. <laughs> That's right. I didn't feel like it. I didn't even want to do a backwards roll, which I could. I looked at my bracelet that said WWJCD. What would Jim Carrey do? <laughs> what would Jim Carrey's character that he rejected do? That's what the bracelet says. <laughs> and look, in defense of this movie... Go on. The first movie mm -hmm. was made as a marketing tool to sell Wonka chocolate bars. Oh, no. Which ended up being recalled because they were poisonous or defective <laughs> or something. So the movie ended up wow. lasting. Wow, this is like a modern-day Mr. Beast feastable situation. It's exactly like it's that. It's exactly like and that. And Mr. Beast is always wearing a top hat and he's like, how do you do? What's my personality? You tell me. We love you, Jimmy. Keep it up. Now, in terms of box office, on a budget of $150 million, it made $475 million. Oh, that's not bad. Big hit for whoever made this Warner yeah. Brothers movie, I assume. If you changed the central performance, yes. not even necessarily the actor. That's what I'm saying. This is a completely different movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny, maybe. Yeah. And, I, and I, I, I sort of, look, I understand the impetus. In the film industry, you know, a lot of kids, I'm sure modern day kids love the original, but I'm sure there's plenty of kids who are like, I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to see that. It's an old thing. I don't care. So sometimes you've got to remake a classic and it could have worked. I think if they j just they just put it through the Hollywood photocopier and it came yep. out basically the same, I think people would have liked it. Will Smith? Yes. He get two slaps. He get two slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Do he slap Chris Rock twice or somebody else? If I was in his position, yeah. I would slap Chris Rock mm -hmm. and then save the other one for later. You know, now the urge to, to slap Chris Rock has left me. Yeah. I could slap him again or I could slap <laughs> someone else, you know? You don't know. Anyways, now people have been asking for this for a while and because we are officially maybe wrapping up the DCEU oh, with yeah. Aquaman 2. Oh, yeah. We're doing it, Mason. What's that? The Snyder Cut. Oh, come on, mate. That's so long. Not a joke. Not a misdirect. <laughs> okay. We are genuinely doing it. We're not doing one of our famous Willy Wonka-style <laughs> misdirects where he's on a cane and then he doesn't do a forward roll. <laughs> no. You know? look, it's going to be the last episode of the year. So one episode. We're not breaking this thing up into two two-hour chunks. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> okay. Oh, that would be more painful for you. <laughs> look, I feel like, you know... We made a 40-minute Revenge of the Sith video. That's true. Or Ben and Lawrence did, I should say. Yeah. It's not going to be that long. God, I hope not. Mm. Anyways, if you do want to see that early, though, oh, why yeah. not head over to bigsandwich.co where all of these videos, they always get their time to shine early ad-free, don't they? That's right. Maybe I will. Maybe. There's also bonus video podcasts. There's movie commentaries. There's video game Let's Play. That's right. We're bad at video games. No, I'm good and at video games. And you're scared of video games. I'm not scared. I love them. Or you can check out our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. Of course, we're going to have an episode on Wonka, aren't we, Mason? I guess so. How could we not? I've heard it's better than you I've think. Heard yeah, people say that. But then people say a lot of things, don't they? People do say too many things. That's right. If that's what you're implying. Does Timothy <laughs> Chalamet do a forward roll or not? Oh, my God. Don't, no spoilers if you've yeah, seen yeah. it in advance, but let us know if he does a forward roll. Please do. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll wrap that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.